Hey everybody, Cole here with Classic Mini DIY, and on today's episode, we're gonna be spending a good deal of time prepping the engine bay for paint. So, stay tuned. Today's episode is brought to you by you. That's right. Every single episode created on Classic Mini DIY is made with the help of our patrons and our long-term part sponsor, 7 Mini Parts. If you want to see more mini stuff and more videos in the future, please consider supporting the channel on patreon.com forward slash classic mini DIY or by checking out some of my awesome merch like t-shirts, stickers, and all sorts of other really cool stuff at merch.classicminidiy.com. All right, let's get back to the episode. Now, as I said, we are going to be prepping the car for paint today. And specifically, we're gonna be prepping the engine bay for paint. So in order to do that, I am going to have to spend some time and we are really gonna to have to sand down all of the paints that have been in that engine bay since the car was originally built. So that's yellow, there's blue in there, there's black, the truck bed liner that I put on top or the 3M undercoating that I put on it. All of that is gonna get removed. We're gonna bring it down to bare metal and then I am going to prime it, prep some of the small holes and things that are in there. There's a lot of really tiny pinhole screw holes that I need to fill, and uh, I am gonna be using filler for that because they're very, very tiny um, pinholes, and that's just to smooth everything out, and then we're gonna sand that down, and then, after all of that, we're gonna paint the engine bay with a nice 2K um, that is a combination clear coat and uh, paint, a hardener, um, put those together, it's in a spray can, and we're gonna spray the engine bay and we're gonna make it look really, really nice. Now, I, I know a lot of you are probably wondering right now what color I'm gonna do the engine bay. And in a perfect world, I would actually do the engine bay body color, that blue that the rest of the car is. But in my case, my car was painted um, a long while ago, and uh, the person who painted my car did a pretty okay job, um, but it was not the best job. And the paint coat I gave them, they actually didn't mix the paint correctly to the paint coat I wanted. The car ended up turning out the wrong shade of blue. I actually wanted it a much darker midnight blue, um, but didn't end up working out. They painted it this light color, and then I just stuck with it because it ended up kind of growing on me. So that all worked out in the end, but the result of that is it is basically impossible for me to match the color of the paint unless I brought it to a big, nice body shop. And the budget for this part of the build is not high. I do not want to spend a lot of money on the engine bay. So what I'm going to be painting it is something called a rat rod black. Um, it's made by a company called Eastwood. Um, I'm not sponsored by them on this episode or anything. I purchased this with my own money. Um, and the Rat Rod Black is kind of a uh, semi-gloss. It's not quite fully flat. I think it's gonna look a lot better than a flat paint would. Um, it's what they call satin. And uh, I think it's gonna look really good. Now, I don't know if we're gonna get to the painting stage of this, uh, of this portion of the job um, in this episode, but we are certainly gonna get through all of the, the sanding down part of this job, I hope. Um, I have a feeling it's gonna take quite a while. So first things first, let's step out to the car and I'm gonna prep it by draping plastic over it and uh, really prepping it for paint so that I don't have to do that later and uh, we prevent any sort of damage to the existing paint. So let's head out there.
and gents. So there it is, the finished product. You can see that the actual metal had some imperfections in it. So um, the thing about painting something is that if, uh, if the surface isn't prepped 100% perfectly, um, you're always gonna see the imperfections that are under the paint, um, exemplified and amplified by the paint itself. Um, in this case, it doesn't matter so much to me. Um, the big thing I was hoping for here was uh, uh, rust protecting and uh, just to kind of uniform and make this whole thing look a lot nicer. Um, I am going to be putting up a mass loaded vinyl on this uh, bulkhead right here, which I'm going to show you guys how to make your own and everything so you can cover this up. And then I have a really awesome uh, little like um, bulkhead plate right here that I got from Japan. And uh, that is going to cover up this hole. Um, we will have to make a small plate to go right down here. Um, I'll do that in an upcoming episode. Uh, but this will need to get covered up to this hole right here and then my cover will go right on top. So it'll look really nice once it's all done, um, but I'm really pleased with the way this turned out. Now there's only one more thing that I wanna do before we finish up this episode. Now while we have a nice clean surface to work on, um, I do want to add my reflective heat tape here. Now this is going to help reflect the heat from the exhaust pipes that are gonna be going down right here and reflect that back into the engine compartment. It's something I've been wanting to try for a while and I just never really pulled the trigger um, because, well, it, I didn't have any reason to. It never got really that hot, but I am thinking that with the supercharger, it's gonna get a little bit warmer than say a stock naturally aspirated engine. So while this is all clean and nice and smooth, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this tape. So let's get to it. So the engine bay is painted and we've installed the heat reflective tape on the back side to, to help reflect some of that heat from the exhaust back into the engine bay and away from the passenger compartment. And I'm pretty pleased with the way the paint turned out. Now I know this isn't a concourse paint job and that was never my intention, but the goal here was to make the engine bay look a little bit nicer, use a nice 2K paint, something that's going to be a little bit hardened, that's going to look really nice and to prevent rust in the future. Since I drive this car almost daily, it was really important to me that I help prevent any sort of rust that might be coming in the future. Um, but it doesn't matter to me so much that it's the perfect paint job in the world. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And uh, if you have any questions about the products I use, those are all linked in the description below. And, and until the next time I see you guys, enjoy those minis and motor on.